What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the 10 hardest Norwegian words to pronounce. As an American, I will openly admit that I am terrible at the Norwegian language. So today, I thought it'd be fun to attempt the 10 most difficult Norwegian words that are hard to say and hard to pronounce, especially for Americans. So uh, <laughs> I, I understand that I might embarrass myself here today, but that is perfectly fine. I have accepted it and I am really curious to learn some Norwegian words. So let's take a look. Let's start. Okay. Brø. Bread. Brø. 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 That's not that bad. That's not that. That's not that hard. Brø. Bread. Brø. Am I am I hearing it right? Brø. Bl. Brø. I think that's it. I th I actually think that's pretty good. <laughs> Kneipere er veldig vanlig i Norge. Kneipe bread is very common in Norway. Actually, okay. if you mistake the pronunciation of brød and say blø, it means bleed. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I have to be careful Careful here. Blø, blø is different than brød. Uh, let me hear it. Pronunciation of brød and say blø, it means bleed. There's an R to brød. Br I don't think that's that hard. There is a little like rolling sound with your tongue, like brr, brr, brr. Is, <laughs> Am I going too far, or is that does that sound correct? Or I, okay, uh, so far this is okay. So be careful. Engelsk. Oh. English. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is the word for English. I've never heard the Norwegian word for English, the language. Eng oh gosh, what did she say? English? <laughs> How did she say this? Engelsk. Oh, that actually sounds difficult. Um, let me let me hear that one more time. Engelsk. I don't know why, but I'm having a lot of trouble hearing all the different sounds she's making. This one is hard. This one is absolutely correct. Eng English. English. Alle bør lære seg engelsk for å kommunisere med andre. Engelst. Eng 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 engelst. Is that? I think I think that's kind of close. Everybody should learn English to communicate with others. Hmm. Svensk, dansk, tysk, finsk. You can see that all the Norwegian language words actually ends in SK. Oh, I didn't know that. Engelsk. All the languages end in SK when you're talking in Norwegian. Uh, yes, this is certainly... Uh, Norwegians definitely do believe everyone should learn English, because I think basically all Norwegians do learn English, which is called Engelsk. Hårfønner. Oh. <laughs> it's a hair, hair dryer. Or har, har, harforner. <laughs> oh gosh. Harforner. Hair dryer. Hårfønner. Oh man, that is, some of these little specific sounds are very difficult. The A sound. Har, har, harforner. Hair dryer. I have to like contort my face in weird ways. Harf, harforner. <laughs> to do it. Jeg bruker aldri hårfønner. Har, 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 har foreigner. Har, it's not, it's not har foreigner. I can't make the A sound. Har foreigner. Til å tørke håret mitt. I never use a hair dryer to dry my hair. This is a tough Actually, one. Actually, I'm kind of late. This is a tough one. This is like, I thought I got a little uh, cocky at the beginning. Where it's like, okay, bread, that's easy. 
This is, these are actually hard. Like this, this isn't a joke. I see myself so often I don't use a hair dryer. I just uh, let it dry naturally. Huh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I did very good on that one. I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's probably the worst I've done. <laughs> Let's keep going. Chole. Oh, what is this? Jole. Jole. This one doesn't seem too bad. Okay. Chole. Oh, it's more. It's uh, it's not jola. It's shola. See, it's those very. It's very 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 subtle sounds that I really have to be paying attention to, or or I completely miss it. The J made me think jola, but it's sh it's a sh shola. Dress. Shola. Yeah. Okay. Dress. Shola. Denne skolen er veldig fin. This dress is really nice. Okay, I think, yeah, this this again was one of the easier ones, I think. Um, but it's just spelled. Also, these are just spelled in such interesting ways that are so different to English spelling. It's, I can't even, I can't even look at the word and read it. I have to hear it. One thing you have to be careful about in Norwegian is that uh, the word dress mm. if you say dress it actually means suit what oh dress means suit in norwegian okay so don't mix them up surely okay Shut. so the k j in norwegian k and j is a sh sound like sh sh shut Meat. <laughs> shut. Shut. Okay, shut. Like in American English, this would just be S-H-U-T. Shut. It is, oh my gosh, that is crazy how differently this is spelled. If I had tried to read this, I would have said kajot. <laughs> I would have read this as kajot, but it's shut. Meat. Meat, okay. Jeg spiser ikke kjøtt. Shut. I don't eat meat. This is that okay, that's not too bad. The the difficult part about this one is how it is spelled. But uh I can say it after listening to it being spoken just fine. Well, you know, everybody say that it's good for the environment uh not to eat meat. Um and I wish I had enough willpower to become a vegetarian, <laughs> but not yet. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Nish. Oh my gosh. You know what would be fun? I'm going to try to pronounce the word without even hearing it first. So this would be nice, nice jaring. <laughs> if, I, if I saw this, I would say nice jaring. So what's, what's the actual pronunciation? Nishari. What? Huh? <laughs> what did I just hear? Nisharagaga? <laughs> oh god. I need to hear this. Oh no. I need to hear it again. Oh no, let me let me go back. Yes. Maybe in the future? Who knows? Nishari. Nishari. Oh my gosh, this is getting very, very difficult. Net <laughs> neshari. I already can't remember what it is. These are not sounds that you hear in American English. You just don't. Curious. Oh, curious. Nishari. Nishari. Curious. Hun er veldig nishari på hva katten gjør. Nishari. The dog is very curious about what the cat is doing. Hmm. I used to have a dog, and my dog didn't care about cats at all. I think cats and dogs are usually not really good friends, uh, <laughs> but sometimes uh, they just ignore each other, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one was really, really difficult. Um, what is this? Ol? How do you pronounce that O? Ah. <sighs> How do you pronounce this O? Ul? Ol? Ul? Ul. Ul. Okay. Beer. 
Oh, beer. Hey. This is the word for beer. <laughs> this is, some of these are so funny. Like the word for English. This is the word for beer. Okay, the word for meat. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Beer. En kall øl er veldig passende i sommerværet. It's not ull. It's uh, it's øl. It's ull. Ull. It's not ull. It's ull. Is that right? A cold beer suits the summer weather well. <laughs> so I think some of you might have problems pronouncing ø. Uh, it uh. kind of sounds like somebody hits you in the stomach. <laughs> you go like uh. <laughs> Yeah, if you get... <laughs> uh, that does help. <laughs> hit in the stomach. Maybe you would want to have a cold beer afterwards to cool off. Wow. Recently, you know, it's getting so popular with microbreweries. I think they mm. have a lot of good beer, uh, like the, all the locally produced beers especially. Mm. I like to try different types of beer sure. when I go for uh, trips and so on. Okay, next we have... Okay, this is that, uh, uh, that's the sound when you're getting punched in the face. Uh, so this, I, I would have said s'more, but this is smur, smur. <laughs> is that right? Smur. Smur. It's more of an uh, smur, smur. Uh, I, th I think, okay, I think I got that. Butter. Butter, huh? Smur. Smur. Butter. Kan du smøre smør på brødskiven? You know, what I'm wondering is if a Norwegian heard me say s'more or s'more, would you understand that I'm trying to say s'more? Um, is it close enough that you'd understand? Uh, maybe? Can you put butter on the slice of bread? In Norway, uh, we usually have a lot of bread, brød, for breakfast, and right. then we usually would have smør as one of the common things to put on the bread, along with other... Oh, um, yes. Oh, yes. Smør, smør is very, very popular in America as well. What we call pålegg, which is um, literally put on. So it's anything you put on the bread is called pålegg. Oh, Okay, this is, ro I think this A, the A is pronounced differently because uh, most Americans would pronounce this r radier, radier, radier. That A is more of an O, ro ro roder, r rod uh, how does this Y? <laughs> I have no idea. This is so confusing with the Y. Rodier? Rodier. 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 Det er vanlig å se rådyr om vinteren. It is common to see rodier in the winter. Oh, what? What is a rodier? Is that a type of deer? I've actually never heard of a rodier. Um, the Norwegian and the English sound almost the same. It's rådyr or rådyr. Det var en gang en rådyr som ble skutt, og så ble den rådyr. Wow. So the word rådyr can have two meanings in Norwegian. Okay. The first one, as you just heard, is rådyr, and the other meaning is crazily expensive. <laughs> expensive? Really? Why is that? That's Two completely different definitions, huh? Um, this one is difficult for me. Ro, ro dear. I, I still feel like I'm not quite saying it correctly. Uh, so the example sentence I just gave you means um, there was a roe deer that got uh, shot and got uh, crazily expensive. <laughs> bro? Bro. <laughs> bro. What does bro mean in Norwegian? Um, in American English, this, this is a word, bro. It means like friend, uh, uh, it can mean brother, um, bro. In Norwegian, it's bro. Bridge. Oh, it means bridge. That's, that's funny because bro is something you call your friends in American English. But anyway. 
Bro. 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 It's it's more bro. Is it bro or bro? I have trouble. I'm trying to. I'm really trying to get specific and nail this down perfectly. So I'm trying to listen for bro or bro. Bridge. Den broen var veldig flott. It, it's so difficult for me to... Because Norwegians speak... Um, a, it's a little too quick, a little too quickly for me to catch every pronunciation. That bridge was very nice. Huh. So, as you probably understood, this is about bro, bridge, not as in bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's funny. Bro. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Which word did you oh, my... find the most difficult? Oh, my gosh. Which one was the most difficult? Um, this one was difficult. Har... I don't even remember how to say this. Hårfønner. Hårfønner. There was another one. There was one that was just really difficult for me. This one, this one, this word. This is the most difficult. What What was this? Curious. Oh no, how do you say it? Who knows? Nishari. What? Nishari. I can't even, it's so crazy because I can hear her talking, but I can't say it. It's a very interesting like phenomenon. And I think it's because Americans like me, we never practice other languages. We we don't speak anything other than English. So it's actually difficult for me to use some of the muscles in my mouth to say some of these different pronunciations. I swear, it's like I can't get my mouth to do it. It's quite fascinating. Uh, this must have been the hardest one right here. Like, if I were reading this, I would just think it says nicer juring. Nicer juring. <laughs> a lot of, you know, some of these were okay. Brud, brud, for bread. Some of these were okay. Ang angusk, angusk. Some of this was okay, but s some other, other ones of these were, this is shut. I think shut, shut. Some of these uh, were genuinely, like, super hard. Like, this this was actually a really accurate video. These are really hard to pronounce. Um, really interesting, though. Really fun to, to see this kind of side of the Norwegian language. I, I learned a thing or two. I, <laughs> this was by Learn Norwegian with Norwegian Class 101. Uh, I gotta give this a like, because that was... Uh, I wasn't the most successful, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and you can be the judge of how well I did. <laughs> anyway, if, you've, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on how well I did. Um, if there are other Norwegian words that are even more difficult to pronounce, <laughs> that'd be fun to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and learning things about Norway for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.